what exactly motivated you to start your start your website, start your blog, and really share information and your experiences with people regarding emotional wellness? What got me to start the website and really start pushing content um, like on my Instagram and stuff, besides having the time from Corona, was my <laughs> was my cousin passing away in on Christmas this past Christmas. Um, from substance abuse. That's what really got me to actually do the website. Um, but just seeing how my friends, myself, how the world today handles, you know, emotion and wellness in general really pushed me and inspired me to do some, like, to put knowledge out there so that people can figure out or discover different ways to deal with their emotion properly rather than turning to substance abuse or just shoving it down or whatever it is yeah it's really important to to find really healthy ways because we all deal with different traumatic things throughout our lives and sometimes it's a daily thing Mm -hmm. uh, that we carry around with us so having ways to express ourselves and um, get better really important so it's really important and admirable that you share your experiences with the with the world to help them out so going back to um, my website my cousin had a branding name, which was R Nice. And so I flipped that into an acronym, which is um, Restoring and Nurturing Yourself Through Conscious Evaluation. And really, that is ultimately what wellness is constant evaluation of yourself, constant um, change toward, you know, the best you that you can be in all aspects. Constant evaluation is, is tough because sometimes you look back <laughs> on what you're evaluating. And you don't like it. Mm -hmm. And then that's also something that causes trauma and different insecurities and different issues that you'll have on a day to day basis. And I think it goes back to emotional wellness and how it affects us in everything that we do. Um, And I also know that you have a few a few posts on like things that we can do day to day that help us with our relationships, with our jobs, while we're still really conscious of our emotional wellness. Mm -hmm. Stepping back and being able to feel what you feel, Mm -hmm. let yourself feel it, but not immediately reacting on it or shoving it down. Understand, like understanding it. Absolutely. Yeah, you got to feel your feels. It's very important to feel your feels. You can't avoid them. Uh, If you try to, they will pop up at any point in time and remind you that they're still there. Um, What we just talked about, like responding to emotion. So what do you feel like, how do you feel like people usually respond to emotion? Like, let's say they're not doing this self-evaluation consistently or frequently or as frequently as they should. How have you seen that people usually respond to, you know, emotion or trauma or or anything similar to that? Well, for me, like, or not even just for me, but for me, I know that I will, before I started actually applying like emotional wellness and really stepping back because you know even before all this I read about it and all this stuff and it's like yeah cool but to actually do it is another thing Mm -hmm. and um before I was doing that I would either act on my emotion immediately so if something was making me upset or angry I would react without even thinking about it um and usually not not usually always that puts me in a bad spot when I, especially when I have time to calm down and gain perspective, like I should have done in the first place, I realize it's unnecessary and only made the feelings feel worse. Or people react like they shove it away, they shove it down, they completely dismiss it, and I've done that before too. And honestly, that has only left me like just angry, like with a hidden resentment and like this hate toward the world and life. So it's or or people will choose to turn to escape, like ways to escape um, through like, you know, alcohol and drugs or even just like, yeah, alcohol and drugs constantly, whatever it might be, not the proper way to handle. Cool. So what would you say are some are some better ways are some better ways to handle um, some of those feelings? So what I started doing now is applying the process of emotional wellness. So when I feel something, I allow myself to feel it, but then I also step back and understand where it's really coming from. Because a lot of the time, what I'm feeling, 
what I'm feeling might not have anything to do with the situation or the person, but something deeper than that. So one, that really helped me learn a lot more about myself, um, stepping back in and understanding why I'm feeling it, but then also going about the best way to deal with it, whether that's actually confronting the situation in a way that, or whatever, actually confronting the situation or the person or the problem in a way that's not, you know, on your emotion, but a calm way, you know, or even just exercising, writing it down, jogging, venting to friends. Like that's not shoving it down. You, fe you felt what you felt. You understood why you felt it. And now you're dealing with it. Those are great ways, um, great, healthy ways. I know both of us are, you know, huge into fitness, pays the bills. Thanks. So, <laughs> so it, it's definitely a way of relieving stress. I know that there are plenty of days where I've had tough days and gone to the gym or worked out or ran that Serotonin. yeah, helped me put a lot of things into a better perspective. Those are great. Um, I also am a huge advocate for, you know, I, I know that I've been in places sometimes where I've been upset or felt trauma and you can only do so much working out. You can only lift so much. You can only so run so fun. much. Uh, you eventually probably need to find somebody, you know, educated enough to talk to about it and Definitely. have them give you the right advice, the right guidance to make your life a little bit better or a little bit easier. And that's why I'm always a, a huge advocate of therapy. I feel like everybody could probably, you know, do a, do a, you know, a sentence with a therapist mm -hmm. essentially just to like get the shit off their chest. I think that's really, really important. Yeah.